Ladies and gentlemen, Maxine Peake. Thank you. Oh, that's so much fun. Thank you. I have heard that you decided that you were interested in acting age 13. Initially, it was about making people laugh. I wanted to be a comedian. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, I thought I did because that felt sort of in a strange way more obtainable than being an actor because the faces that did that look a little bit more like mine. I thought, that's what I want to do. I'm, when I get old, older, I'm going to go to university. I'm going to meet a, a, you know, a, a band of people, similar sense of humour, and we're going to start up a, a comedy troupe and, and the rest of the history, and it didn't quite work like that. You go to RADA, yeah. and I, I think you did the audition while you were still at RADA for Dinner Ladies, yes. is that right? I never even thought, I'm gonna, I, I've got to get this, I'm going to get this. I just thought, I'm going to be in the same room as Victoria Wood. And to work with somebody like Victoria, whose writing is so precise, it is like music. You know, if you get a word wrong, she'd know. And it wasn't because she was a stickler, it's because she knew it would, it would knock, you know, it would knock the, the I suppose, the timing out or the, the line out. It, it, yeah. And, and it was a great exercise as well of doing it yourself. As everything she did, you know, she wrote. I mean, you know, she sort of part directed as well. She was in it. So it was about, it's graft. It is yeah. about this. Graft and standards as yeah. well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you identify as a feminist, quite right. Have you ever turned roles down because they don't really uh, chime mm. with your whole feminist beliefs? Yeah, quite a lot. What would be your issue then? It's just a lot of the time, you know, sometimes, okay, it's a female lead, but how are they portrayed? You get these parts and it's like, yeah, she's successful, but you know, her whole family life is in tatters. It's all that nonsense and narrative that needs changing. Which brings me to the next character, <laughs> which is uh, Hamlet. Uh, obviously, Hamlet is usually played by a man, but when you were playing the part, did gender affect your thinking or were you just thinking about it as a character? The power you, I felt as being playing as male was yeah. very, uh, quite shocking and quite enlightening. I played Ophelia about 12 years previously with Christopher Eccleston as Hamlet, mm. and, and the get there to an honorary scene was quite dark. And I remember thinking, when I do it, I'm going to be tender to Ophelia, and I'm going to, nah. <laughs> you know, thinking as another, and it just came out this sort of, disregard for women that really shocked me. But the beauty of Hamlet, as he develops, he grows up and he matures and actually becomes, unfortunately, that's the, the, lo the, you know, the tragedy of the loss of him. He's, he's grown into a decent human being. But initially, it's about me. I am the next in line. I yep. am, the world revolves around me. So, yeah, being a man, they, they was, I was like, wow, this is, this is something... Um, this is very interesting. <laughs> what I want to talk to you about now is uh, you in Black Mirror in uh, 2017, where I have to say that what you are doing is fighting a futuristic <laughs> robo-dog. I will never, ever call any actor in an action-type movie ever again. It's, I don't know how they do it. Because I'll be like, where, where is it? Where, is it? where am I looking? Where am I looking? <laughs> it's, well, it's coming between those, whereabouts? Those trees, though, right? Okay. Right, OK. Oh, it's really <laughs> hard. When you're doing that, I mean, it's that you need a particular technique, don't you? What are you doing? We did have this lovely guy, Christian, who was a puppeteer, who had, like, um, it, it, it was, well, it was just like a, a stick with a wheel on it, with a bit of a body on it. And, and, he used to, and I used to say to him, oh, Christian, look, can you stop smiling? Because he'd, he'd come running out. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing kind of... Uh, a few more films and yes. you know obviously you've done you did uh, funny cow which i have to say i think you're fabulous in it and Thank you're finally you. being a comedian yes fantastic yes but that was because tony pitts wrote it for me but it took us nine years to get it made and why was that because nobody wanted to finance a film with me in the lead you know there's always that thing if you did too much television then you couldn't do film or there was a snobbery but I think, you know, there's, there's actors now who are breaking through that and doing good telly and film as well, you know yeah. what I mean? We were really struggling and then we needed a male, you know, to get the film financed. I yeah. wasn't going to finance it. They needed a, a, a male um, lead. And we had the wonderful Martin Freeman attached. And I sort of did that cheeky thing where we were, I, went, I, was at 
a, a, a BAFTA awards and I was chatting to him and he said, we need to work together. And I said, well, actually, I, I've got <laughs> something for you. And I thought, he'll never do it in a million years. I'll get, you know, sent mm. Kevin, the producer, sent it over to him. And he said, I'll do it. Because I think, you know, there's mm. amazing people like Martin Will support, like, you know, Stevie Graham who's in it. Yeah. Stevie Graham didn't need to do that part in this film, but they'd support, you know, anyway. Long story short, when we eventually got to film, Martin wasn't available. So then we sort of rung Paddy and went, are you Paddy, what are you doing? <laughs> so there's lots play of with us. calling favours, you know, Diane Morgan, Diane, yeah. please we come and be in it. Christine Bottomley, it was all just this amazing cast of people who just came because they loved the script and they were friends of Tony's and just wanted to be in, involved in it. You and know, you are now a bankable film star? Well, I don't know about that. I hope, <laughs> fingers crossed. You are but, definitely a bankable film star. Thank you to the most fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.